Greetings, my brothers and sisters. For those of you that are subscribers, you are aware that I read every one of your comments. And it's from that motivation alone that I gather my inspiration to report on these civil rights violations illustrated on this channel. In 1991, when we all watched Rodney King beaten mercilessly in Los Angeles, and he was caught on someone's personal camera, I'm sure many of you, like myself, got a sense that thanks to the modern portable camera, change in our law enforcement tactics was imminent. Obviously, nobody could have imagined that all cops in that lynching were going to be completely absolved, and the people rose up and they burned down the city. But faith was restored when the cops were retried and top officials were fired and the revelations of embedded corruption and racism were unequivocally exposed. And so today, even with so many cameras pointed at law enforcement, my optimism for such change remains uncertain. And I can't help but realize that brutality and hatred is so inbred into officers that even their own camera footage, capturing clearly their egregious crimes, won't mitigate that vigorous thirst for citizens' blood. Like rabid dogs or animals is the only comparison that comes to mind. Watch why these 11 East Cleveland police officers were recently indicted on numerous charges. And the justice system fails again. Check it out. We are now going to play uh, some videos of incidents that led to these indictments. Some of the content shown here today may be graphic and upsetting to viewers, and their di viewer discretion advi is advised. The videos speak for themselves.
I didn't see anything either. How does it still turn on? That's impressive. I'm surprised the battery hasn't exploded yet. I'm so sorry. Oh, that was my bad. Fucking brush me in my lips, watch. So I, I must have put them to the floor. It's been fucking done. That's just cold. I got it. I got it. <coughs> Not anymore. Yeah, she was just trying to do your traffic stop. Hey, that was the easiest pursuit you could have ever done. He went in a circle. Literally, I, yeah, he kept going in a circle. I was getting so annoyed. I literally got over the loudspeaker. I was like, this is really getting fucking stupid, dude. Can you please stop the but car? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I threw. I got one. I didn't get a single look at info because I didn't care. Single twenty driver. Single twenty driver. You just start my vehicle. Do not move. Shoulder hand, hands are out, hands are out, hands are out, hands are out. Get him secured, get him my vehicle. Get out, foot! I got it, I got cuffs, I got cuffs. I'm your stomach, I'm your stomach! Get him, get him, get him. I got a busted windshield now. Fucking fight! He's bleeding from the head, bleeding from the head. Stop Just get, it, get control, stop fighting! Hold on, Taser out. Taser, Taser, you got Taser out. You want your Taser? Stop fighting. Stop. Taser out. Drive stun. 
Put your hands on your fucking back! Quit fighting, you're going to get it again. You're going to get it again. Stop fighting! Stop fighting! Stop, 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 stop. Where did he go to the gun? And lift that arm up. Which one? Uh, uh, Put it down. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. You gonna get it again? Stop resisting. Go. Stop. Give me your hand now. Stop resisting. You gonna get it again? Yeah. Double cuff if you have to. There we go. Single on 20 driver. Single on 20 driver, you just start my vehicle. Do not move. Get him secured. Get him my vehicle. Do not fight! I got I got cuffs. I got cuffs. On your stomach! On your stomach! Get him, get him, get him. I got a busted windshield now. Fuck you fucking fighting! He's bleeding from the head. Bleeding from the head. Stop Just get it. Get control. Stop fighting! Oh. Taser out. Taser, taser, you got taser out. You want your taser? Stop fighting. Stop. Taser out. Drive stun. Get your hands on your fucking back. Quit fighting. You're going to get it again. You want to get it again? Stop fighting. Stop. I think to any casual observer, those videos are appalling and a poor reflection of policing within our community and obviously criminal conduct. Um, I just want to say today there are three indictments we are announcing, charging again the 11 current or former East Cleveland police officers. Seven of the officers are newly indicted 
four officers have already previously been indicted and they will be receiving additional charges. Again, as of today, there are 16 current or former East Cleveland police officers who have been indicted in the last six and a half months. Some of the charges for these indictments include uh, felonious assault, interference with civil rights, dereliction of duty. The seven new officers indicted today include Ian McInnes, a current East Cleveland police detective, Nicholas Fody, who has resigned from the East Cleveland Police Department, Tristan Holman, who is currently a Elyria police officer after leaving East Cleveland, Trey DeHart Robinson, who is currently an East Cleveland police officer, John Hartman, who is currently an East Cleveland police sergeant, uh, Larice Manns, who was a former officer who has now been terminated, as well as Brian Parks, who is a current East Cleveland police officer. Again, four of these officers indicted are currently East Cleveland police officer, and one is currently an Elyria police officer. Uh, four officers who have previously been indicting would be receiving new charges include Tyler Munson, who is an East Cleveland police officer currently on leave as a result of his previous indictments. Kyle Wood, who is an East Cleveland investigator currently on leave because of his previous indictments. Brian Stoll, an East Cleveland police officer currently on leave because of his previous indictments, and Daniel Klumer, who was an East Cleveland police officer currently on leave as a result of his previous indictments. Uh, previously, my office indicted five others uh, from the East Cleveland Police Department, including Scott Gardner, who was the police chief, who has now been terminated, Von Harris, who was a former patrol, office, patrol officer, who has now been terminated, Willie Warner Sims, who was a former patrol officer who has now been terminated. DeMarco Johnson, who had transferred and received a job with the Euclid Police uh, Department, uh, who has now been terminated from there as well, who was previously an East Cleveland patrol officer. And finally, Alfonso Cole, who was formerly an East Cleveland patrol officer, having been terminated after his indictment. It is important to note that this investigation continues. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, Police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.